When someone stops drinking, and, and many of our members have attempted to stop on their own, being that lone wolf, that's it, I'm finished, I'm stopping drinking. They're not drinking. And so they're like, oh, I'll go back to the gym. Yeah, I'll play with my kids more. And they start to feel a little bit better, say within 30 days. There is some, some restoration of normal neurochemicals. Uh, but it's not exactly fun. They're going through the motions. And so there is some healing that's happening. There is some repair. Except if you are not actively working to change your brain, you're going to hit a stagnant point. And the cravings will still be there because you have not really filled that void in your life with anything else. And your brain is still saying, okay, yeah, that was a decent workout, but man, where's my drink? When you come into Project 90, you might not feel great. You might be irritable, cranky. You don't want to open up to these people. Why did I do this? And that's okay. That's to be expected. And part of the education is to remove the shame or embarrassment that we feel that way because we know that we shouldn't be drinking. When we understand that, hey, you're just in a dopamine deficit right now, it's going to be okay. And guess what? What did you like to do when you were 12? I had a client once, she said, I loved riding my bike to the 7-Eleven and I would get a Slurpee and some candy. I said, do you have a bike? She said, no. I said, how do you feel about buying one? She bought a bike and she would ride up to the 7-Eleven and do those things. So whatever you remember feeling really good about, go back and do that, even if it doesn't feel amazing yet, because it will. And when you're doing it, talk to yourself. When the cravings come up and, and, and your brain says, okay, nice, nice concert, but it'd be a lot better with some drinks, talk to yourself. I understand why you would think that. I understand. And what's going right? How about the fact that we didn't miss the favorite song because we were in line for another beer, right? So we're talking to ourselves and encouraging ourselves, being our own cheerleader. And then, of course, we've got the whole Project 90 community and coaches cheering us on. Over time, it's amazing when you have that first belly laugh. When you go on that hike and you see this and you're at the summit and it takes your breath away. And so the beautiful thing about being human is that we have an incredible ability to heal and repair. And it's not passive. It is an intentional, active pursuit, but it's a fun pursuit.